Russian soldiers know nothing about the laws of armed conflict because their commanders do not train them to be aware of war crimes, a legal expert Professor David Crane, a former U.S. international chief prosecutor, said while NATO forces follow the laws of armed conflict, Russian forces since the Soviet era normally do not, receive, training and what is and is not acceptable under the auspices of war. Professor Crane suggested that Russian soldiers might not be aware that they're going to be held accountable. The comments come as a 21-year-old tank commander became the first Russian to be charged with war crime. Professor Crane told GB News, commanders of professional armed forces have to follow the laws of armed conflict. They are supposed to train their soldiers in the laws of armed conflict and they know that if they commit violations of these laws, then they're going to be dot Sadly, the Soviet, and then the Russian Federation forces, normally do not train in the laws of armed con. Dot their soldiers know nothing about it, and so it's a sad commentary but professional armed forces around the world, particularly in the NATO countries, do follow the laws of armed conflict train in those laws and can be sure that their commanders are following the dot Vadim Shishimarin, a 21-year-old Russian tank commander, could face life in prison for killing an unarmed Ukrainian civilian. Dot the young commander was allegedly told by another Russian soldier, crucially not above his own rank, to shoot a grandfather called Oleksandra Shelopova. Dot the fatal shooting occurred in the northeast Ukrainian village of Chepokovka on February 28. Just four days after a Ukrainian state prosecutor asked a court today to sentence the Russian soldier to life, Shishimarin asked widow Katerina Shelopova to forgive him for the murder. He said at the hearing today, I acknowledge my blame. I ask you to forgive me. He pleaded guilty to the murder yesterday, and has reportedly cut a forlorn spectacle in a glass booth built for defense. The Kremlin has said it has no information about the trial and that the absence of a diplomatic mission in Ukraine limits its ability to provide us. The widow told the court that on the day her husband was killed, she had heard distant shots fired from their yard and that she had called out. She said, I ran over to my husband, he was already dead. Shot in the head. I screamed. I Scott Shalapova told the court she would not object if Shishimarin was released to Russia as part of a prisoner swap to get her boys out of the port city of Mariupol, a reference to hundreds of Ukrainian soldiers who have given themselves up to Russia. The trial takes place as much of Ukraine is gripped by the fate of its soldiers who it hopes Russia will hand over as part of an exchange.